Hello everyone and welcome to today's Innovation Coffee Break, where I will show you how to test your V2X application. As you may already know, V2X stands for Vehicle to Everything Communication. This covers the communication from a vehicle to a network over 5G, but also the information exchange between two vehicles or vehicle and infrastructure via direct communication. Today, we will talk about direct communication via PC5 or DSRC and with a focus on how to enhance your simulation with smart infrastructure messages to validate your V2X application. My name is Mike and I'm a product manager for connectivity at DSpace. Before we start with a hands-on where I will show you how, e how easy it is to implement infrastructure messages with DSpace tooling, let's start with the question why is this important? State-of-the-art vehicles use V2X day one applications. These applications are very simple and more for sharing status information. As an example, the Cooperative Awareness Messages, CAM, in the European standard, or Basic Safety Messages, BSM, in the US or Chinese standard. For the next generation of automated driven vehicles, day two, two V2X use cases gain some importance. In these applications, the infrastructure shares its statues like the driving path and the current light statues, but it's also possible for sharing sensor information. The message for sharing the driving path are called map messages. For sharing the traffic light information, the signal, phase and timing message are used. With this shared data, an automated vehicle can enrich its own view of the world. Imagine a use case where a vulnerable road user, also called VRU, like a child or a cyclist, is hidden by an object. The best LiDAR, camera and radar sensors are not capable to penetrate all materials. But it's very likely that another participant or a roadside unit has seen the VRU and sent its information over the air. In this use case, a very dangerous or maybe deadly situation can be prevented. If we go on to fully automated driven vehicles, the aspect of sharing information will lead to a safer and more efficient future. To test all these complex use cases and gain an advantage, you need a framework that provides you with sensor simulation, vehicle simulation, and an exchange of V2X messages. All this is offered to you by DSpace. Let's look how to enhance your simulation framework with V2X capability. DSpace provides you with top-tier hardware in the loop test setups, with high realistic sensor simulation in Aurelion, real-time vehicle dynamic models, and traffic simulation. This includes the Automotive Simulation Model, or short ASM. This model is an open Simulink model that's scalable to your needs. This model offers solution for vehicle and truck dynamics, traffic and powertrain simulation, and many more. There's a bunch of special solutions in ASM, and one of these solutions helps you to integrate V2X into your simulation framework. For the topics of connectivity, we work together with partners. One of our partners is Keysight. Keysight provides a product portfolio for V2X simulation called Wave B. To add this hardware to an HIL setup, we have developed the DSpace V2X interface for WaveB, a special solution for ASM. This interface lets you easily generate V2X messages. As an example, the status sharing information for all participants in your simulation or the message from your infrastructure. The DSpace V2X interface for WaveB manage the connection to all hardware components from key sites generate the V2X related data out of the simulation. With this information, the WaveB hardware generates RF signals with standard conform V2X messages for the antenna port of your system under test. To close the loop back to the HIL system, DSpace portfolio offers a variance of solution like all common automotive buses. Previously, we added the DSpace interface for WaveB to the ASM model and generate real-time real application out of it. Now let's go to Modeldesk. 
For those of you who are not familiar with ModelDesk, this tool is to manage different parameters for your real-time application. It also provides you with an interactive graphic editor for creating road environment and driving scenarios. Today we focus on modeling the intersection. And uh, for this, I choose this intersection because it has a variance of incoming and outgoing lanes. For uh, the first step is to um, add some lane links to the intersection. Lane links define the ways where the vehicle can drive on. So as an example, we want to connect this lane link, this incoming lane link with this outgoing lane link. For this, we press a right click and add a new lane link to the west uh, road and on the lane minus one. And now you can see there is a lane link added to this junction. Let's add another link from this lane to this lane. This is the incoming lane and the lane link is the uh, north one and lane zero. And now we do it for all lanes we want to specify. After we added these this, all these lane links to this junction and specify how the vehicle moves on the junction. We want to specify when the vehicle wants to move on this junction. So we have to specify for each lane link the signal phase and timing information uh, corresponding to, to um, traffic light information. For this, we create a signal group. As an example, we can use this predefined template and starting with a green face, a yellow face, a, a red face, and a, another orange face. But we want to specify it in a different way. So let's talk, say we want five seconds to be tree movement, like it's yellow and orange um, together, then it's 20 seconds green, so it's movement allowed. After these 20 seconds, it changed to um, a yellow face. And after that, it's for 20 seconds red again, and you have to wait on this junction. Now we have specified one signal group, but um, to you need at least one signal one additional signal group so that one vehicle waits and the other vehicles can drive. Um, for this, we add another signal group and specify it in a corresponding way to the first signal group. Now we have specified the signal phase and timing and how the traffic lights uh, statues will change. And now we have to connect this information to the junction information that we previously defined it with the lane links. For this, we can multiple select lanes that we want to uh, use the signal group um, that we have previously specified. As an example, I want all these lanes to use the signal group one. And now I can add the property signal group one and now this, all these lane links that's connected on this um, incoming lane will use the signal group one. And um, the other lanes, these lanes will use the signal group two and I can specify signal group two in the properties. As an additional uh, information, as you maybe already noticed, I add some road objects to the um, junction. This road object we will see in a few moments in Aurelion and in the V2X message. So now in Aurelion, we see the Ego vehicle heading to the junction we previously modeled. On the upper left side, you see a map viewer of V2X messages. Currently, it's not showing any messages, but let me add the previously messages to this viewer. The map and spat messages, And now you can see 
that the previously modeled lane links are shown in this map in this messages and the lanes have the corresponding traffic light color that we previously modeled in the signal group. The next message I want to add is the CAM message. This message is for sharing status information of vehicles. Now you can see that our Ego vehicle has turned left and then still stands on this, um, on this road. The last message I want to add is a smart, is a sensor sharing message, CPM. Now you can see that this message uses a sensor that's fixed to, um, to the roadside unit on this junction. And this uses a smart camera to, uh, that sees some pedestrian crossing the road and some pedestrian standing on the side of the road. Let's take a look on the, from the smart camera of the RSU. Now you see in Aurelion, the pedestrians crossing the road, a cyclist standing still to the road and some pedestrian um, on the roadside. And that's, you can, all can see in this B2X message in real time in this viewer. Now let's restart the simulation and take a look how the messages, all these messages are displayed in real time in Aurelion and in the message viewer. Now our Ego vehicle is again um, heading to this junction. And now you can see that the traffic light is changing to orange and now changing to green and the car start uh, starting to drive because they can cross the road now. Additionally, you can see the sensor sh shared information of the pedestrians that also moved in this viewer. Let me take it to a bit to the side and now you can see that the movement of the pedestrians in these simulations and the movement of the vehicle uh, of the objects in the V2X message uh, are aligned. What are the key takeaways from today Innovation Coffee Break? DSpace offers you a scalable and flexible V2X solution. The hardware has implemented DSRC and CV2X technology. And also all regional V2X standards are supported. You can integrate sensor and infrastructure messages out of the simulation and connect your system under test with all relevant automotive buses. Hopefully you have picked up some interesting information about how you can integrate V2X in your simulation framework. If you have questions, comments or requests, please reach out to me. Thank you for watching and have a nice and safe day. DSpace, your partner in simulation and validation.